Hello my awesome artists. Today we are going to paint in your pencil or crayon that you made. I'm going to make mine into a pencil because of the way I shaped this. It looks like a big eraser and I don't want to do a color pencil with an eraser on the end. So I have my paint here that I'm going to use. I have water and two different paint brushes for bigger areas and smaller areas. And I have a paper towel and a mixing tray in case I need to mix specific colors. What you're going to do if you want to mix colors, you may, is you are going to paint in your pencil however you want to paint it in. So figure out your design and paint it in nicely. I'm going to draw a line with my paint and then fill in the rest of the space. Now, as you notice when I'm painting, there's a lot of white space that is showing through. So what you can do is you can take your paintbrush and dab in those spots so that you're filling it in. If you want to, you can mix in some black or some white to add some areas where it's a little darker or lighter to make it a little more realistic looking. But first I'm just gonna go and paint one part at a time. Don't skip around because you don't want it to all be wet at the same time. You wanna to try to work in specific areas. And also when you're painting, you don't want to, you know, not mix enough paint and then you skipped around to another area and you don't have any more of that paint left or something like that. So you wanna make sure you're mixing enough paint and staying with one area at a time. Okay, make sure when you're switching colors that you clean your brush off in between. If you need to use a mat, or not a mat, but a napkin to wipe it off, you may. Uh oh, my brush there. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the regular part of the pencil. So I'm going to paint this. Actually, I wanna mix some orange in there. I'm gonna paint this all in. Now, I might need to do one the, more than one layer with this yellow orange that I'm painting here, but that's okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and just paint the whole thing in. Be careful where the paint's still wet and you're matching it up to that because it might mix a little bit or blend. So just be aware that could occur. And if you don't want to get your hand full of paint, you can lay this down. It doesn't matter if it gets on the mat, obviously. Okay, I'm not done painting in my pencil. I have the base of it done. I want to add some details up here at the eraser and on the pencil itself. And maybe I want to make some into here too, which I guess I could do that right now. But the details that I don't want to be blended in, like let's say the pencil lines, I should not be doing that now because as you can see with me adding like these texture lines or these more details in here, it starts to blend or mix with that color. If you want something to be crisp and clear and not to blend or mix, it needs to be dry. So I'm going to just go ahead and add maybe some texture details on here so it's not all the same shade of brown. So I have some lighter tints. And then I'm just going to leave it like this because I don't want to paint anything else while it's wet. I want to go back in when it's dry to add those more details. So at this point, I'm just going to focus on touching up areas that I have missed because I don't want to add those details yet until this is dry. Have fun, my most awesome artists.